talk more about the impact that this decision will have on women. We are joined by Associate Professor of Communication, Dr. Catherine Cady from Northern Illinois University. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Cady. Thank you so much for having me. I'm sorry it's under such uh, dire circumstances. Your class studies Roe versus Wade and when this decision was leaked earlier this year, you started thinking about how to deal with the issues surrounding it. What makes this leak so significant? Oh, well, and the leak itself, that had never happened before. And so it was very strange and, and it was very strange. But what's so significant about the issue overall is just the deleterious consequences, the tragic consequences it's going to have for women, for the most vulnerable women among us, um, both in terms of their health and economically. Um, you, you wrote uh, earlier that uh, when the leak first came out that you saw this, a restriction on abortion, as a legally sanctioned sexism. Can you uh, expound on that and tell us what exactly you meant by that? Okay, yes, absolutely. You know, in this country, we believe in individual rights. You know, we, we believe that each individual has the right to run their lives the way they see fit. And family planning and reproductive health care are some of the most, you know, intimate personal decisions that a person, you know, can make. This opens the way in lots of states for the state telling women what they can do in this circumstance, rather than women being able to decide for themselves. So it's a fundamental, fundamental um, unraveling of women's individual rights. Um, and it also is, a, you know, a partisan, a partisan attack and a way of, you know, kind of taking very specific religious beliefs. That's what these are all, these rules and anti-abortion activism is all based in very specific religious beliefs, which we believe everyone should be able to have, but making every woman party to religious beliefs that they may or may not hold. Before the leak, was this expected with the three new uh, nominees uh, that uh, Donald Trump put in? Was this expected? Well, I can say I expected it. I can certainly say that. It's um, strange to me now to see um, senators who voted for these justices say that they're very confused um, because I don't, I don't think that this is unexpected in any kind of way. I do know when my students and I talk about this issue in class, you know, we talk about um, current events and current controversies. I mean, this day it has been absolutely unimaginable to them until now, but I, I don't think what, what are I don't your, think it's a surprise. Doctor, let me ask, what are your concerns moving forward here? Um, the, the fight for, you know, to, to further uh, same-sex marriage, uh, the threats now to contraception. We've heard assurances that those will remain untouched, but what do you think about that? <laughs> You know, in terms of consequences, well, it's, I would say it's twofold. I mean, there'll be, there'll still be abortions. They'll be unsafe, um, you know, and women won't have enough access to them, maybe not where they live and things like that. And there is very likely to be consequences about all kinds of rights based in sex, gender, and sexual orientation and sexual identity. I mean, to the religious groups that fight abortion, um, LGBTQ rights, women's rights, and abortion's rights are, are all part of a whole package that they view as somehow destroying families in the U.S. Um, I think a lot of people don't agree with them. I think public opinion doesn't agree with them, but that's what they think. Dr. Catherine Cady from Northern Illinois, we're grateful you could join us tonight. Thank you.